what is going on collectives it is your girl janiqua a and i am back with another reading for you guys if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do so i took a little break off doing the readings i think it was yesterday and the day before yesterday but now so much messages are coming in through these cards so that could be significant to you guys maybe you guys took some time off for com from communicating to the outside world maybe you took some time off from communicating to your partner or just being so social and now things are picking back up communication is starting to come back in you feeling more vibrant you feeling like you got more to say you feeling just more energized all right that could definitely be symbolic to some of you guys because there's a lot of information and messages coming out out of nowhere so things are picking up for you guys if you felt stagnant and communication archangel michael and a leg wall, please protect me protect my mind my body and my spirit clear all my chakras as we tap into the most important messages surrounding a collective energy yeah things are going to be picking up for you guys if things were slow look there's an aquarius energy all right so chiron is right now aligned with our north note meaning our destiny so this is a radical change and everything going good for you guys all right this is a burst of energy where y'all coming outside you hear me if y'all felt uh under the weather if y'all felt low vibrational oh now there's a burst of confidence there's a burst of happiness there's a birth birth oh, damn i said birth shit this is a birth of a new you or you birthing something Okay, but you like, pal, I'm back in full effect. Like, I never motherfucking left. You hear me? This is a, this is a day. Everybody like, damn, who this? So, this is a radical change and transformation where everything is picking up. All right, you're exploring. You're, ex you're experimenting on a lot of things. You're no longer being rational. Like, you're no longer, you're getting out of your masculine energy, no matter if this is for masculine or feminine, and you're being led with your emotions. You're tapping into your divine feminine energy, like not being so rational no more, all right? Um, there's a certain uniqueness about you. I don't know if it's you cut all your hair off. Um, if you did, you looking like Amber Rose, baby, okay? It's, it look good on you. For some of you guys, it's your sense of style, the way you dress. Um, maybe you wear a lot of colors. Maybe you never match, but... Um, there's a certain uniqueness about you. Like you in your own lane with a certain thing. Your fashion is given off. Your personality speaks through your wardrobe. All right. Um, you might like to party. There's a sense of really, really wanting to get out there and experience everything you haven't because you was getting your life together. All right. Um, you now. A lot of you guys was in hermit mode, so you weren't open to a lot of people. Now. You're really wanting to be in group settings. You're realizing like everybody is not out to get you. And with this Chiron, the, the planet, the wounded, the wounded healer, this planet is coming to heal those, those areas in your life where you thought you wasn't worthy or where you had your guard up. Like you're feeling like everybody is not out to get you. So you're coming from a place of being so introverted to pal, having a lot of friends or being the, the, the party. All right, you also care deeply about people and you want people to respect you as such. This is a free like spirit. All right, you're also diverse. Like you might have friends of different cultures. You don't care about skin color. Like you just have disrupted the norm with your personality and with this radical rebirth. All right, you've disrupted the norm with your, with your personality, with your humor, with your abilities, with your wisdom, with what you know, with what you're doing. All right, you live, you're very edgy. All right, you're not going with what's normal. You actually don't want to fit in right now. So this is like pow. Okay, Aquarius energy. Somebody could be Aquarius. Look, Uranus. All right, definitely Aquarius energy because Uranus um, rules Aquarius. Sudden fucking change. Uranus is the planet of a fucking radical change. This is like a revelation for you that's happening. A new you. All right, where you caught the monitor. You had a lot of monitoring spirits around you. For a lot of you guys, all right, you need to do an A cleanse. For a lot of you guys, if you got a lot of flies in your house, 
try to capture it and throw it in that egg. All right, but you there's a sudden change of events happening where there's a breakthrough. You broke through the boundaries and limitations people had on you. All right, you, you your, your way of thinking has expanded into living life on the edge, baby. You not ordinary. All right. You are original. You're far from ordinary is what I'm getting. Your whole insight and the way you looking at life is completely different. For some of you guys, you even challenging other people's belief systems, traditions, because you know the truth. All right. This is also sim symbol um, symbolizing you are going to be very good with technology if you're not already. Like your skills and your ability to use the internet is going to heighten. And that is going to create a lot of exposure when it comes to your social status. All right. You're very innovative right now. You're very creative right now. You're very imaginative. Okay. Um, you feel very free. And this is a sudden change. Uranus rules Aquarius. Pow. It's like, pow. I'm bitch. I'm here. Okay. Your whole outlook on life has changed so for a lot of you guys your money up you got nice clothes you're organized you got the keys to type like you live in a lavish life right now whoever you are you have a worldview outlook on what you want to be all right uh for a lot of you guys you reinvented yourself for a lot of you guys you have a mission and you are declaring that mission to people if they are misunderstood. You're expressing yourself through fashion. For some of you guys, fashion plays a big part in how you express yourself. Fashion plays a big part on how you read people. Okay? Um, your role in life has leveled up. All right? For some of you guys, your attitude changed. Okay? Literally. And it came with integrity. All right. Um, your outer self is reflecting on who you are inside. So that's a great look. All right. And your point of view. For some of you guys, your body may have even changed. Um, your aura. All right. Your approach. But it's very impactful. And I'm, you know, I'm picking up your first impression is very important to you. All right. The first impression you give is very important to you. So you you keeping up with yourself right now okay you keeping up with yourself you feel you you're big on first impressions okay so let's tap in so that is how you're being affected astrologically all right there's a rat you're, you're just in people's face people is just attracted to your to your sense of essence right now all right you're living a very very um privileged life all right, Spirit, give me more on this energy, please, and thank you. Yeah, domination. Okay, so right now, you are ready to challenge anybody that is wanting to challenge you. You are ready to, you have like a competitive spirit. You know your strength. You're dominating. The industry is what I'm hearing. You're dominating anything that you set your mind to. Anything anything that you're doing right now, you're doing it at its best. All right? And that comes with a lot of competitors. That comes with a lot of ops. But when I tell you, you are not letting up and you're winning every challenge that is being presented to you. And that is how you're dominating something right now. You're dominating you're very strong, okay? Your strength, your inner strength, your capability, your confidence, all right, is dominating a scene right now, all right? Literally. If somebody was trying to control you in any kind of way, they now see that it wasn't in their best interest to control you, but rather work with you. Yeah, the father of earth. All right, so um, this could be a masculine, all right? Um, this could be a dad 
or this could be um hold on one second y'all Yeah, this could be a father. Um, you could have had problems with your dad. All right, you could have had problems with your dad trying to control you at one point. Um, let's see who this father of earth is. Um, for a lot of you guys, if you guys are females, you could have been in very dominating relationships that never gave you the option to be soft, all right? You may have been in a lot of relationships where you were dependent on the masculine to make a living or to receive some type of income or financial um, type of gain, all right? Where it caused you to be codependent in certain relationships or accept um, the things that you wasn't supposed to accept, all right? And now you're able to have confidence and take accountability and turn that pain into power by being who you are and making a name for yourself and not holding no grudges but empowering others all right for a lot of you guys you came from a very dominating background in relationships where you was abused or you were controlled by a man and for some of you guys you, your father feels like they have something to do with that all right, you could have felt like your dad was never there to like guide you in a sense. All right, for some of you guys is what I'm picking up. But I feel like you turned that pain into power because a lot of people that come from abuse and daddy issues, all right, they don't know how to heal, all right? And they come from a block talk chakra, so un, you know, unconsciously, they just hurt people, hurt people. You turned this pain into power. You're not treating people like how you was treated. You're empowering others to stand up for themselves and to move on and to not hold no grudges in another relationship. Your whole outlook on life has completely changed. You're beautiful. You have enhanced your looks, your health. All right. And this is a radical change from which you came from, especially in relationships. For a lot of you guys, you are in healthy. Look, the monetary spirits. Okay. Look, that's coming from my tree. I, I squashed that shit. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I seen it. All right, Rwanda tape. All right. Yeah, you're, you're aware now. Your awareness before you couldn't see the monitoring spirits. You couldn't see the control. You couldn't see the narcissistic ways, but you're catching them now. Other people might can't see it, but you can. All right, it's right here. And I didn't even mean to kill that bug because I don't really like to kill the bugs that surround my money tree because. You know, naturally, when you have trees or when you have plants, they're going to attract different insects. So it it, it becomes like a, a, a living quarters for like different species. So I don't like to kill them, but I felt like I needed to kill it. <laughs> All right. So you now aware of what you need to eliminate and what not. All right. Even if you feel bad. Okay. Spirit, give me more of this energy. Wow. Very great reading. Like, this is inspiring how you can transmute what you went through. Because everybody got a story. It's what you're doing with, it, with your life after learning the lessons. All right, yeah. Okay? Oppression. You was oppressed. All right? For a lot of you guys, your dad wasn't around because they were locked up. So you didn't really have no masculine guidance. You didn't really have a father figure to defend you in certain situations where you were being abused in some sort of way. All right. But you dealt with a lot of oppression, not being able to be who you are or dimming down your light because of somebody wanting to abuse you because you they didn't, they didn't like how people was attracted to you. You're no longer fearful of being sexy. You're no longer fearful of being who you are because of other people um insecurities and and this has to do with men a lot of masculine energy oppressed you in life and for a lot of you guys you became a beast i'm getting like segment energy all right you didn't know how to handle that anger so for a lot of you guys i'm picking up you might have even been karmic I know I was. I ain't even afraid to say I was comic at one point. And it's not about the mistakes. It's about the corrections. And if we're not able to say where we was comic at one point and keep thinking like we're never the problem, you will never find a solution to who you really truly, truly are supposed to be. You will always keep putting the blame on somebody else. 
So you would you dealt with a lot of oppression to where you didn't want to be mean. You didn't want to be so lion hearted all the time. You actually wanted to be soft. All right. And you realize the only way you could do that is if you change the partners, if you change what you doing to attract these partners. And that has all to do with self. Getting your body done, doing your different hair, a different way, always keeping up with your nails. That's not you got to feel right within. So. Chiron has came to heal you. And bring confidence and productivity and creativity in this energy of finally free from oppression, free from others' insecurities, finally being able to get called sex sexy and receive confidence and to do whatever you want, to, to feel inspired, but most importantly, to tell your story in a way that is empowering people instead of putting people at war with each other. Because I could be a reader that went through some sort of oppression and um, abuse from men and then come read these cards and, and, and mail bash all day and try to put you against your partner all day. How is that benefiting me? But some people do that. And then there are people like us and me that don't want to do that, 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 that is liberated off of empowering other people by getting over certain situations. By finding the lesson in certain situations because God is never going to give you enough that you can't handle. He's never going to give you too much that you can't handle. All right. So there's always a lesson to be learned through the misery, through the through the pain and the suffering. And that is to transmute it and make it work for you. And you made it work for you. You looking good. You smelling good. It's looking like you made a living off of your story. It's made it's, it's looking like you made a very stable income off of the career path you chose and you're very influential right now when it comes to people that is being oppressed man or woman um you have males that are reconsidering the way they are being divine masculine if they were being abusive and it's all about change all right so wow the ten of wands is the end of oppression the ten of wands you no longer behind that gate you no longer caged all right, your spirit is, you know, for a lot of you guys that was being oppressed by men, the men wasn't really necessarily jealous of your outer as parents. They were really, really intimidated by your spirit, the ability to keep going, no matter if you was beaten down, no matter if you was broken. So they try to, they try to break your spirit. And it was unbreakable because the Ten of Wands is releasing oppression, finally. For a lot of you guys, you might you might still trying to get comfortable with how that feels, being free. Yeah, the death card. This is a rebirth. This is a transformation. You for a lot of you guys, you went through a lot of endings that possibly near death experiences that was supposed to end you. It wasn't your time, honey. You transmuted those energies. You always probably wondered how you got out of those tough situations. It wasn't your time. And for a lot of you guys, the people that tried to oppress you and really, really cause harm in your life, they probably not even here no more or going through so much endings in their life. You've learned, you connected to the underworld, you connected to your spirit guides, you connected to a lot of unseen forces, you changed your belief systems, all right? And you transform. You've mastered the art of detachment, finally letting go of the shit that was oppressing you, finally letting go of feeling like you can't do it alone, finally letting go of these people and the narcissists that had you bound to lack and fear and abuse. Death caught major ending Scorpio energy. All right. Yeah. You gained so much knowledge. There was so much stuff being hidden from you. So much wisdom and information that was supposed to be given to you so that way you won't suffer was being help from, held from you intentionally by people that were supposed to help you. You had to seek. You had to search and find what you had, what you now know. It took a lot of work for you to uncover and unreveal and reveal, you know, what, what was being done, what was being hidden from you. All right. So a lot of the knowledge 
that was being hidden has now been exposed, revealed to you. To where now you're able to have a whole different outlook on life. All right, yeah. They are defeated because you're no longer um, trapped in that web of lies, deceit. All right, there was a lot of conflict, jealousy, trying to keep you trapped, stuck, glued to the past. All right, that's done. All right, you made it out. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Expect a major glow up. Expect a burst, like pow, of energy. Okay, after a period of feeling oppressed in your relationships by men, feeling liberated that you could finally be girly and be feeling soft and still have respect for yourself, all right, and have integrity, literally transmuting and taking all of that pain that you could have stayed with and turning it into power and feeling liberated that you could help other people not go through the same things and not deal with the same people and catch the red flags before it's too late. All right, so wow, congratulations. That's how you do it, girl, or, or boy. 